Hello everybody, welcome to a video of just me installing Manjaro Linux to a virtual machine because I really want to test, well I want to test this distribution out because I have Arch Linux on my laptop and I installed it from the old ISO image so it had the actual installer but now that they have taken it off and I want an arch system on my desktop computer it seems like Manjaro Linux is the best solution for the, my problem Arch Linux seems to be a lot faster than other distributions that I've tried including Ubuntu and Fedora and I don't know, it just seems to fit me well, especially because it has an x vice ver uh, version and it has an easy installer. I've also read that in the future they're going to add a GUI installer, which gives I give them two thumbs up for that. But this definitely is a great start in, in the right direction so you can and just going through the install procedures so it, it formats everything for you if you want to do it that way and uh, right now it just installs the system definitely is easier a whole lot easier so right now I'm just gonna show you the applications we got here it's got a lot of great default applications uh, I'm not gonna read off every one but it does have Firefox as a default browser and it also has flash installed by default what it doesn't have is an office suite or office tools so you're going to have to do that by yourself but that is alright for me on this machine the install process is very fast Uh, it also has an update updater GUI and it has an add and remove programs. My experience with the updater GUI is I tried updating uh, I installed this before and tried updating but it just froze and just sat there and didn't do anything so the way you should update is just to go through terminal and you just saw this as xplace 4.10 and as you can see it's setting up my audio and video drivers gotta love it for doing that for me And here we're just going to change the root password, create my user, make it sudoer so they can do administrative tests, and um, create a password for it. And 
this part is familiar, it's installing the kernel. This is what I see when I update my arch. And it's finished, so gotta restart the machine, eject the disk, and we are good to go. You can see how fast this boots up. And if you click right here, yeah, you can choose your other uh, desktop environments if you install any. So I'm just going to log in. And I'm going to show you how to update the system. Uh, installing the AUR package yogurt, I think. And uh, installing the make package because without it, you can't install anything from well, you can't install a lot of things from the AUR like Google Chrome. And I'm going to install the yogurt GUI package as well. So I'm just going to sit back and let the video just continue and there may be like little weird cuts and stuff because the I don't know the virtual machine was just freezing up on me maybe it's because I was recording but it just it wasn't downloading packages right so ignore that because when I restarted the computer it was fine I mean, restarted the virtual machine, it was fine. So maybe a tip would be to restart after you update. So Yeah, I'm just, just going to leave you.
Alright, I'm back. Now that we have our fun the terminal, I'm just going to show you the drop and drag. Out of my nice yogurt gooey interface and Firefox. Just testing it out. It's working pretty nicely. And there's the yogurt interface that I use. I use it because I don't feel like memorizing every command. And it works great. And uh, going to test out Flash just to show you it works. There you go, it works. It is working just fine. So, I am definitely going to uh, install this. It's great. And I want to thank the developers for creating a live CD based off of Arch. It saves many, many headaches <laughs> and time. Well, that's all I had for this video. If you liked what you saw or have a question, I'll try to answer them, but I'm a novice. So give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.